China did it again. Another insane artificial intelligence is surpassing OpenAI. What happens when a Chinese company directly challenges OpenAI with a revolutionary artificial intelligence? What if this technology not only matched, but surpassed the most advanced models from the West? In today's video, we're going to explore Goku, the newest AI from ByteDance. That's shaking up the market and sparking debate about the future of artificial intelligence. Are we witnessing a shift in the global dominance of AI? How could this impact the future of big tech corporations? Stay with me until the end because these answers are going to surprise you. You all, to start off, you already know, comment down below if you think China has a real chance of surpassing the United States in the race for artificial intelligence. Will OpenAI be able to maintain its position or are we seeing a new global leader emerge? I want your opinion comment. All right, don't forget to like and share the link to this video in your WhatsApp and Telegram group so that the people you care about can stay updated on this topic. Deal, let's go. ByteDance has just introduced Goku, a model that combines image generation and video generation into a single system. What stands out is how this technology can challenge OpenAI's Sorai. This advancement comes at a time when China is demonstrating an impressive level of sophistication in artificial intelligence. Goku is based on rectified flow transformers, a different approach from traditional models that use diffusion. This method allows for a smoother and more stable transition between the initial noise and the final image or video. ByteDance claims that it supports text to image, image to video, and text to video, allowing for the creation of realistic human interactions, complex movements, and dynamic scenes with detailed lighting. To achieve this level of quality, the team trained the model with a massive database. 160 million pairs of images with text and 36 million pairs of videos with text. This training was done in stages, starting with alignment between text and images, then combining images and videos to ensure integrated learning. Wrapping up with specific adjustments for each type of media. The model starts with lower resolutions and progresses to higher resolutions, allowing for a gradual refinement in quality. One of the major differentiators of Goku is the way it processes image generation. While traditional models use noise removal strategies, Goku predicts the required speed. To transform an intermediate point into a final image, this makes the process faster and more efficient. Tests by ByteDance show that it achieves better results with less training time. Another determining factor for Goku's quality is its infinite infrastructure. It uses advanced parallelism strategies, distributing sequences across multiple GPUs, dividing parameters and gradients between different processing units and optimizing memory usage. This allows it to handle sequences of over 220,000 tokens, which is an impressive feat. In image generation benchmarks, Goku showed superior results compared to several competitors, achieving high scores in tests like Genival and DPG Bench. For video Video generation tasks, it achieved an accuracy of 84.85%, excelling in creating more stable and fluid movements. ByteDance also implemented a system to classify and balance its database. The model distributes the videos into nine main categories, ensuring that different elements such as humans, animals, and scenes appear in balanced proportion. In addition, a strict filter discards clips with low aesthetic quality or excessive movement, further refining the material used for training. The advancements of Goku show that China is betting big on the race for leadership in AI. With technology that integrates images and videos into a single model, ByteDance may be paving the way for a new standard in digital content creation. This puts pressure on Western companies, especially OpenAI, which now faces even fiercer competition. And just to remind you, OpenAI's image generation model, Dowly 3, is terrible. It's very outdated and hasn't been updated in over a year. The impact of this model goes far beyond just generating images and videos. The advancement of generative AI raises questions about security, regulation, and the responsible use of these technologies. The ability to create hyper-realistic videos automatically 
could be a revolution in the entertainment and marketing industries, but it also raises concerns about deep fakes and misinformation. Another important point is the growing difficulty in regulating open source technology. Models like Goku and Lyama demonstrate that trade barriers can't fully contain the discipline of technology. This creates tensions between private companies, governments and researchers who are trying to balance innovation and control. Moreover, experts point out that the real competitive advantage doesn't lie. Not just in the model itself, but in the way companies apply it across different sectors. The adoption of AI by marketing companies, audiovisual production, and even education could drastically change the way we interact with digital content in the future. In my opinion, China is making strides in the race for artificial intelligence with models that directly challenge the major Western companies. ByteDance's Goku, which is part of the TikTok group, is not just an innovation, but a sign that the dominance of AI is becoming a global technological battleground. The impact of this goes far beyond just generating images and videos. We're talking about a revolution in the way digital content is created and distributed. This could mean a leap for creativity creativity and efficiency, but it also raises questions about control and the risks of this technology. The future of AI is shaping up right before our eyes, and the question that remains is, who will really come out on top and set the rules for this new game? Let me know what you think. Do you think OpenAI will be able to maintain its leadership, or is China about to take the top spot? How far can these technologies go, and who is really in control of this future? This video doesn't end now. He continues chatting with us in the comments. If you found this video interesting, like it, share it and subscribe to the channel.